Okay, let's take a look at the image object actions. So, just like any other object, it's got its own set of actions. I'm going to go into the gallery here, and I'm going to drag one of these images into our project. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that, and go into the actions panel here in the on click tab, and click on my add action button. Okay, I'm going to select from the choose a category pull down menu image. Here we go. These are the image actions. Okay, as you can see, there's the normal kind of actions that we'd expect for any type of a visual object. For example, get position, set position, get size, set size. And these do the typical things that we would expect from them. For example, we can find out where our image object is on the stage by using a get position action. And we can change that value by using a set position action. And so forth. The same goes for get size and set size, as well as is visible and set visible, and is enabled and set enabled. So these are all actions that we've looked at already, and they're basically self-explanatory. The ones that we need to look at that are different <coughs> for the image object are the opacity-related actions here and the file-related actions. So we've got image get file info and image get file name as well as image get opacity and image set opacity. Okay, so these are pretty important actions and we'll take a look at examples of these in the next video tutorial here.